And we're going to start at 13. It said, when Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Right, right. And so they said, some said John the Baptist. Some said Elijah. And others, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the anointed one, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Berjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. In other words, he said, Peter, you didn't get this through information. You, you had to get this by revelation. This had to be revealed to you by my father. <clears throat> and he said, and I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I build my church. Now, he's not talking about building the church on Peter. Peter, he's talking about building the church on the revelation that Peter spoke. He said, I'm going to build my church on this revelation, and the gates of Hades, or hell, shall not prevail against it. Now, you know, in the natural, we look at what's going on in the world today, and even in the church world, and we would have to say that the devil is raising hell. I said, the devil is cutting up in the church, in the world. Uh, as far as we can see with the natural eye, but, but like David said, he said, when sin abounds, grace does much more abound. So, so they magnify the things you see that's going on in the world today, but they don't say anything about the things that God is doing in the world today. See, God is doing a whole lot more than what you know about. Because when sin abounds, grace does much more abound. Hallelujah. So God's going to do some things in these last days that's going to show up and show out. That's right. The Bible says his eyes go through and fro, throughout the earth, looking for somebody who he can show off on. Yes, Lord. Amen. Lord. And you know, we've been talking about proclamation. Yes. We've been talking about decree a thing, and the thing you decree will be established. Come on. See, Paul has been decreeing a thing for a long time. And the thing that she's been decreeing is going to be established. Paul decreed a thing. And said, Paul said, they stoned Paul to death. But Paul realized, and I reminded myself of Paul. You know, the devil been trying to kill Paul for a long time. And Paul was stoned to death. But he realized, laying on the rock pile, that he hadn't been to Rome yet. Glory to God. Paul ain't been to Rome yet. Glory to God. And the devil can't take nobody. Hallelujah. The devil didn't even take Jesus. Jesus said, no man take my life, but I give it. Hallelujah. I came to give my life for the sheep. I came to lay my life down. I, I want to ask you a question. If, if God is not worth dying for, then he ain't worth living for. Glory to God. Amen. I'm ready to die. Paul said, I'm not. They started weeping when they, uh, Agabus bound Paul up in the book of Acts and told him what was going to happen. He prophetically told him what was going to happen. Paul said, listen, don't weep for me. I, I'm not worried about going to jail. I'm not just ready to go to jail. I'm ready to die for the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, he gave his life. You better make a, a get your attitude together. Declaration of independence. You better be ready to die for what we believe. If it ain't worth dying for, it ain't worth living for. Right. Esther said it herself. Hallelujah. Esther said, listen, Mordecai told Esther, listen, they didn't sabotage, they're going to kill all the Jews. And Esther said, you know I can't go before the king without being summoned. See, that was protocol. If the king didn't summon you to come, you couldn't come. Right. Esther said, you know I can't. And Mordecai said, listen at this. If you don't stand up, God's going to raise somebody else up. But don't think your family's going to be saved. Because it's not. Hallelujah. You know what Esther said? I asked the whole nation of the Jews to pray. Jesus. And I'm going to go before the king. And this is her statement. 
if I perish, I perish. Hallelujah. Boy, I, I talk about bold in the Lord. If I die, I die. When I'm going before the king, even because I'm not being summoned. The Bible says that when she went to the king, if he reached out his golden scepter, then she would live. But if he didn't, she would die. And he told her, he said, who knows if you hadn't been born for such a time as this. I'm telling you, who knows if you hadn't been born, Marlon, for such a time as this. What you carry, somebody needs. That's right, that's right, say that. But too many times we let the devil devalue us mm -hmm. and make us feel like we don't have anything to contribute. Right. That's right. But we're all carrying something of yes. value. Yes, yes, glory, glory. Because you are all God's children. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody is not a child of God. Right. Everybody may be God's creation, but they are all not God's children. You are not a child of God until you accept the plan of salvation Amen. for your life. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Glory. You better say some things. Come on. You better declare some things. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. We are going to go through some trials, some tribulations. Everybody's been through some hardships. I lost my brother to the streets. They shot him in his own with Vizine. Oh. Killed him. It was murder. Oh. You didn't think I want to strike back? Oh. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Say that, say that. But I had to go through that by myself. Me and my wife had to struggle through that. Yeah, yeah. She had to encourage me. Yeah. Tell it, tell I wanted to find out who did it. Why they did it? Jesus. I wanted to retaliate. Yeah, right. But God told me, vengeance is mine. That's right. I will repay. That's right. Tell the truth. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to take you to the next level. Oh, See, every test you go through brings you to another level. Oh, truly, truly. Another, another level of influence. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, you got a whole bunch of people that's rallying behind you that'll do whatever you want to do. Oh. But then when God raises you up and says, hey, I'm going to do it my way. That's right. That's right. You got a whole other group of people that'll follow you. And God is working in our lives. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. I didn't say it was going to be easy, but I said it would be done. Hallelujah. On this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And I'm going to give you the keys. Say keys. Keys. Of the kingdom. Of the kingdom. Not to the kingdom. Of the kingdom. These keys are principles that are unlocked the promises of God. Whatever you declare to be unlawful on earth has to already be unlawful in hell. In other words, whatever you lock up on earth has to already be locked up in hell. I want you to know sickness and disease is unwanted in hell. It ought to be locked up on earth. He gave us the power as kings to do so. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We, we have the power to direct and to dispose. We got to start using our authority yeah. to dispose of some things. God told me today we're going to dispose of some shame, oh, oh. some fear. Amen. Too many people are struggling with mistakes they made. Oh. And they think that the mistake is who they are. And they don't know that the mistake is not who they are, but just what they did. That's right. Hallelujah. And there's the authority God gave us. He gave us the ability to break that thing off your life. Yeah, some of us are shamed because we've done things that are shameful. 
we'll find ourselves in some dark places. Thank you, Lord. Didn't know how we got there. God said, it doesn't matter how you got there. What matters is how you get back. Okay. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm the God who will restore. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. But the word restore, re is a prefix. It means to go back. Store is to build back up to the full capacity. God said, I'm going to restore you back full, 100%. Hallelujah. I'm going to give everything back to you, lost and some. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Too many people some. get healed, but they don't get whole. Amen. I said they get healed. It's a big but difference. They don't get whole. It's a big difference. See, when you get whole, you don't even have any results of what you've been through. No. It's like the three Hebrew boys went through the fire, came out, didn't even smell like smoke. No. You couldn't even tell they'd been through a fire. No. See, you could go through something in life and people can't even tell you've been through nothing. Amen. Because God has made you whole. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. See, when you get healed, you can still see the side effects. Amen. I drag my name. I've been through something. Praise God. I said, God will make you whole. But you know, a lot of times we're not willing to pay the price to be whole. Because being whole, got to, we got to come clean. Yeah, yeah, we got to get naked. I, I got to show God. I got to show everything. And I, I, sometimes we don't want to come clean. We don't want to show everybody what, what we've been through. Yeah, that's right. But see, God will take the scars and turn them into stars to his glory. Thank you, Lord. Yes, see, Lord. see, all those scars is a part of your story, but it's also a part of his glory. Come on, come Amen. Because he's going to get the glory for all you've been through. That's right. That's right. Praise God. Listen at this, Sierra. You don't have to fear about what's going to happen to your children. Because God declares the end from the beginning. He already knows what his plans are for your life. He's already got your life in his hands. He's already planned your child to preach the gospel. The great things are going to happen in your family. You can thank God for it in advance because it's going to happen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Read the Bible said, decree a thing and it will be established. Amen. It's like David. David said, you know, the, 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 the doctor said that the cancer spread. Praise God. But, but guess what? It's just a greater time for God to show up and show up. See, see that's, men, that's men and women of God. That's people who understand the spiritual things. That nothing can come through my life before it goes through his nail printed hands. When it goes through his hands, he massages it so to do me good. Praise God. You're going to have to say something. Some of y'all believe this, but you just don't say nothing. What happened? The cat got your tongue? <laughs> Say something. Decree a thing and it'll be established. Praise God. Listen, it works. I'm telling you, it works. I, 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 long time ago, I told you, I said we were in the ministry and didn't have any clothes. Not anything decent. I told the Lord, I said, the Lord, I decree God's going to provide suits. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. And I told you the story. Went to the dump to dump some trash and found a bunch of suits. Suits for everybody in the ministry. Thank you, Lord. Ever since that day, God has still been providing suits. Amen. My suits come through the mail. Amen. God has given me so many suits, they ain't stopped coming yet. No. That's been 20 years ago. Then a bread. That suit came in the mail. Amen. Not only did he provide suits for me, but my son got suits. <laughs> they still coming. Glory, glory. I didn't give Pastor Jack a bunch of suits because they come through the mail. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. When you decree a thing, it'll be established. That's right. That's right. Our problem is we don't decree it. Oh. We don't say nothing. And the reason why we don't say nothing is because some of us are still dealing with guilt, with shame, with fear, with a lack of confidence, with a low self-esteem. You know what a low self-esteem is? It's a low estimation of who you are. I'm here to tell you, you're a child of a king. 
Hallelujah. We're kings and queens. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no paupers in the kingdom. No peasants. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I may be out of time, but I'm not out of revelation.